Crafters, this is Colette. Welcome to my quickie tutorial on the herringbone technique. This is a great technique for using background papers um, that you have left over after a project. Today I've chosen to use papers that I have got from the Glisten collection from Kaisercraft and these are from the six and a half inch paper pad. I tend to keep all my scraps at the front of the paper pad and these are usually what I tend to choose for my herringbone techniques. Now what I have done is I've gone ahead and chosen three different papers and I've cut four strips which are six and a half inches which is the length of the pad by half an inch. So four of the darkest colour, four of a, a medium colour and four of a lighter colour. Now although I've cut these half an inch, you can cut them any size. Quarter of an inch looks absolutely fabulous, but as this is a quickie card, I've gone a little bit bigger. The next thing I need to do is I need to take a mat. So this is a piece of white cardstock which measures four inches by five and seven eighths or just under six inches. And I have gone ahead with my Kaiser Clark Grew Runner and basically covered the whole thing in some adhesive. And then what I do, I need to start off. Now, you can actually start off um, wherever you want. There's no real signs to it. But if you kind of get this basic shape, it's going to help. So I'm taking one of my darkest colors, and I'm going to actually pop this. Uh, let's pop this along here. And I'm going to press that down. I'm going to take another one of my dark colors, and I'm going to pop this one here so that this straight piece butts up nice and closely to this other piece here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to place that, let's place that down here. Okay, so that's what I call my foundation strips. Um, always I do these in the darkest. And now what I'm going to do is just to trim off the excess. And I'm going to keep this excess because I can reuse this. Okay. Now I then take my next strips and the next ones are my medium, my medium tone. I'm going to zoom in a bit here so you can see what I'm doing. And what I now do is take the medium tone and I'm going to place that right so it butts up really nice and close to that first one. Finishing that down, cutting that off. And then what I need to do is, with that same piece or another piece in the same colour, butting that straight up and positioning that down there. Okay, now I take my next colour, this one here, and I do exactly the same. Starting up here, making sure that there's none of that white cardstock from underneath showing. Butting that up and just cutting that off and repeating. And then I go back to my first colour. So I've got a little scrap of the first colour, as this is a short area, I'm going to use those up first. So starting off one, cutting that off, and I'm just going to cut this and use this piece here. Chopping that off and again taking another of those darker pieces. So I've got a piece here. I'm going to just slip that into there and pop that down. So that's one section finished. I'm going to do exactly the same in those other sections and I'll pop back to you with that completed in just a minute. Hi, okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and filled in the rest of this particular paper, except there is a little gap down here, which I just wanted to show you. This was my quarter inch strip. If I was to put my quarter of an inch strip down, there would be, oh, can you see, it's the minutest little white gap.
So rather than try and fill that with a piece of, of paper, what I've done is I've cut just a slightly bigger strip and if I put that down, that's going to cover that space beautifully. So just chop that bit off and that completes my herringbone design on this one. So all we need to now do is to flip that over and give that a really good burnish on the back. You might want to trim around with your paper trimmer so it all becomes nice and neat as well. So there we go, doesn't that look fabulous? So simply now um, to make a card from this, what I have done on one of my 10 quickies with my glue runner, I'm just going to position that oops, on the card. So that's nicely positioned. And then from the beautiful collectibles, um, I'm going to take um, this particular one here and I'm just going to stick that down flat. So a bit of the tape runner and just position that wherever I want that to go, maybe down here. Okay, and this gorgeous little reindeer, the foil, gold foil reindeer from that collectibles collection from Glisten. I'm going to pop that up, I think. So I'm just using a little bit of the Kaisercraft foam tape. Just popping that behind him and popping that down. So just popping him down like that. So very quick, very simple, but very, very pretty. That's the herringbone technique. So don't forget to check out the other 10 great cards on the Kaiser Craft blog. Uh, it's a great way to get ahead in Christmas and you'll have a lovely evening making them. My name's Colette. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.